Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome to Utopia Cubed. This is a side project I'm working on. Uh, I got invited to join a server um, and recognized as basically a, a feed the beast, feed the beast expert, we'll say, uh, or at least expert in in multiple mods, and uh, by a group of guys that play mostly vanilla. And they would like to get into feed the beast, and they just need a little bit of you know guidance or help or whatever whatever's necessary you know can build some cool things together so uh, Nemsum put this server together it's called Utopia Cubed and basically it's gonna be a you know hopefully some large cooperative builds we've seen some vanilla guys so they'll make some really cool designs and combine it with the expertise of a, uh, three or four guys maybe five guys on the server that are experienced Feed the Beast modders so that's what this is don't worry I'm still gonna play on the Feed the Beast Artisans that is my Let's Play server and I'll still do all my other things that I've been doing, but hey, one more thing to, to film every week so you guys get more videos from me. And uh, yeah, so this is Utopia Cube. Let's get go ahead and do a world tour. If you saw the intro video, this was our spawn area, and we came over here. The plan originally was to stick together at the spawn for the first week or two. So when we got here, I started... Oh, don't look over there. I started going out and then collecting from villages, you know, over there, and I built this nice farm. Oh, this is all me, all that farm. And some other guys built this really cool little shack, hut, bunker thing, and started filling some chests. And and, and then I came back and everybody was gone. <laughs> and uh, again, I play probably some different time zones than most people because they're in, in Europe or Australia or whatever. But uh, yeah, so I, we couldn't really find anyone. And it turns out they've all taken off to be in their own little areas. Some people have paired up or grouped up. Um, but I think we're going to need to quickly build a nexus to link everyone together with Mistcraft because right now it's feeling very single player. Uh, so again, we're using the Feed the Beast um, Ultimate Pack. And this was our spawn. So what I did is I wanted to focus, you know, while I'm not busy helping someone on the server, I wanted to focus on bees because I haven't really dealt with them since the Feed the Beast uh, challenge map. And I wanted to learn all the things that the uh, forestry bees have to offer, you know, what's been added, as well as uh, thomic bees and extra bees. And I think that'll be a lot of fun. So that's why I themed my base the way I did. Giant hexagon, and it's built into the mountain. I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to go show you that now. Oh, actually, let's come over here and show you my other project that I did for the server. This is, of course, a blaze farm, same as everyone else builds. Pretty cool. Built into the mountain again, kind of give it a, a nice feel there. Uh, but it's not just a typical blaze farm where you sit here and gain XP, da 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 da. You come on down in here in this little bunker, and you go ahead and flip the switch, and the blazes start to die. I'm going to turn it off quick because that's going to get really loud. And of course, the turtles are killing the blazes. Come on. I may need to tune the room. I think it might be too small because it's only three or four high. But anyway, yeah, this water stream brings you all the experience, all the blaze rods. And so you just kind of stand here AFK. The door is closed. So nobody can get you. And you just enchant all your stuff. So you can see even though I've got crappy iron gear, I put level 30 enchants on all of it. And I've got like two stacks of blaze rods. Um, I put this bookshelf here thinking you could put enchanted books on it. And I don't think you can. Let's give it a shot, though. Oh, you can, okay. You just can't put normal books. I don't think that's the case on Damn Sky server. But you can put enchanted books and uh, miscraft books on there. And I've got a few chests here just to store extra books or whatnot. And I need to put an anvil in here somewhere, maybe like in the wall here I'll put an anvil for repairing or adding books to your, your gear. I can actually even add it here because I've got more bookshelves than I need. I might do that. But I don't have really any iron. Um, again, I don't spend a ton of time in the server, so I'm a little resource deprived. But you know how much I like buttons and pressure pads. So let's go ahead and go up and check my base. Some tree farms here. A zombie wants to visit. Yeah, I don't think so, zombie. Go away. So, if you look in the channel description, you're going to see links to all the other guys. There's probably about 
15 other guys maybe maybe less but uh, that was the plan originally to have 15 to 20 people on the server and this is my my house so it looks like these hexagons kind of interweaved hexagons on their side and I've tried to build it into the mountain you can see it's still work in progress uh, I plan to replace this glass here with yellow stained glass once I have the bees that can make it uh, but for right now we just got some glass panes and I also wanted to use uh, like cherry wood I think it looks better but right now I'm using oak wood that's gonna be a pain to replace it all but I could probably get the wand of exchange equal exchange from Von Graft and do it pretty easily so that was my plan and going at and just moving forward with oak for now so I've got this is the extent of my bee research right now is four hives with modest bees in them that's all I have I don't even have a carpenter to make the impregnant paint uh, panes here so I don't even know if it's worth it breeding it but I've got a few parch combs and then I've got some extra bees that I've just collected really nothing special there and blast furnace down there come on inside a uh, little storage of common stuff another portal here some tools on my chest I really like the way this guy looks on the armor stand I got this idea from uh, I'm not sure who did it first it was damn sky or or Zagroth, but <laughs> he looks pretty cool on the armor stands those are from bibliocraft again and this is how basically it works so i'll have a room in here right now it's my mine but i don't really need that anymore because i have a another book in the nether that takes me to my mine so i'll hollow this out and kind of have a room in here that might be my storage slash crafting area and then i've got tons of directions to go i can go up to the left and this will take me to another hexagon here or I can go in there obviously I can go up to the right and this will take me to this hexagon which is just about done once I get oh this is my bomb craft area and, and miscraft area maybe I can go back up here into <laughs> yet another hexagon and this will have a you know a one down to that one so you can get go both directions and each one of them is gonna you know have like this doorway here with a room and also if you look in this one I've got like a platform here so I'm gonna hollow that all in all of them all of them so that gives, should give me a ton of space basically this whole open area kind of for displaying stuff I don't know what I'll do exactly but and then a doorway there with a room and then a large platform here so I might as well show you guys some kind of build this is all my um, oh my goodness thermal exchange items obviously a uh, liquid aqueous accumulator there powering my steam engines which are currently out of coal and I that's a, for a reason because I'm currently generating infinite energy three magmatic three magmatic engines they are being supplied by a magma crucible oh no I'm out of netherrack okay it's not infinite energy it's energy dependent on netherrack let me go get some real quick. I need to put a hopper on there. The stuff just like flies across the room when you kick it out. But anyway, so another act go. This will fill up again. Usually it's completely full. And you see my energy is full, and this thing is even filling up. And I'll, I only started that with one single nether rack and a little bit of steam engines to get it going once it got at least one thing of lava it's now in an infinite loop basically the lava comes powers here they power this guy and yeah infinite it's it's not qu the quickest generation and <laughs> you can right now it's actually draining because i ran out of the nether rack i need to keep that in there uh but yeah it is infinite so i can just expand it if i wanted and have multiple magma crucibles and and add three more magmatic engines I think that's the sweet spot three to one you might you might get away with having even more it could probably pump more lava because this does get full from time so I might add a fourth or fifth and see how it does and then really all I have is like my induction smelter pulverizer powered furnace sawmill the extruder which I've been giving getting stone for where is my water why is my water gone that's weird oh because yeah it does use a little bit of water every time you get a stone that's right so I just need to make another, another aqueous accumulator or run a pipe underneath who cares I've got a second magma crucible here and this is really just for generating lava for this guy or to put it in storage so I can get it out with buckets 
And then I've got my transposer that's got some liquid redstone in there right now. Cool. You can have all my stone. And then down here, I don't know why, but I just built IC2. I was mainly trying to figure out how much harder it is with Greg Tech, because we are in Greg Tech hard mode. Uh, it didn't seem that much worse. I, you know, Macerator cost some diamonds. Uh, this was the same. This was pretty much the same. I think it took a couple extra things. And the generator was just as easy. So I'm not too concerned with Greg Tech and IC2, but I wanted to build them just to figure it out, see what I thought about it. But I haven't really used this system at all since thermal expansion is kind of the way I like to go. And I think that's about all I have to show you here. So let's go into the... Where did I put that book? Oh, I know. I put in the nether. So I've got... There's my mine. I need to rename these books. That's home. And this is the Nemsum space. Which is really the only other one I've been to visit. Um, they've done a lot. I can't remember who else is living with him. I'll find out in a second. <laughs> But they've got Nether Portal, Twilight Forest Portal. I think up here is Thomcraft Research. I wonder if he wanted me to show off this. I'll ask him. Uh, this is Miscraft. They've got a really nice guy here. Look at this. 47 emeralds for Lava Page, but you know that'll change. But what? Uh, oh, and actually, it's not this guy. I think it's one of their other guys. Look at this guy. He'll be an, for an emerald, to give a Nitro roll. For six quick silver, he'll give you an emerald. You can get plenty of tons of those. Wow. I think someone's trying to tell him. Ah, so Bolev. Bolev lives here. He's going to be doing some bees as well. And they've got an enchanting room. Here's another good villager they've got. A written book for an emerald. That's not a very good trade, but... And, uh... Coal for an emerald and raw beef for an emerald. So they're going to be rolling in the emeralds pretty soon. I think they built this into an existing village they found and they've just kind of kept with the theme. So we had some farms. This is all their storage. Don't need to go in there. Farms. I guess they've got a little message board. They're kind of uh, mercenaries. So you can put a request on here of what you would like. They'll go get it. I think, I don't know if they're going to charge you or not. <laughs> Ah, oh, that guy scares me every time. But that's pretty much it uh, for the Utopia Cubed server. Go check out the uh, the other guys in the description. Subscribe to them. They're going to need, need some help with your guys' subscription. They, they make really good videos, high quality, and uh, you can see how, you know all the other guys that are on the server. Um, pretty much what I'll be doing is taking some world tours, showing off other people's builds, helping people build stuff, and then working on bees. And until next time, it's been Fletcher next. See you guys later. Bye.